So today I will show you the course how to calculate the volume from point cloud data. So this is the code. And here I have three tests. Five. The first one qubit test. Ah, it's, it's, this means uh, qubit is this, this, this. Okay. And this is, let's see. Data, yeah, just have some, some kind of data, small data, very big format, should be small. So, let's see it out, 12. Okay, this coordinate now we will try to calculate this. Uh, this point cloud data of the qubit. Okay, in this case, we know the volume is 100. Okay, so let's try. Zip control enter. Ah, oh, sorry. This is cube. Cube. Okay. This is coordinates. Uh, up, up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight point only. Now ten point. And uh, in this case, the volume is one hundred. But you see this syntax is exact. Okay, we will take the second one more. If somebody is here, and this is the point cloud of Sophia. I plot it, and you see it's Sophia. And this is Sophia. In this case, you use in this folder to calculate volume. And it's get around S boy thirty S top ten boxes and it's approximate that's this number. Okay. So this from this it can calculate the volume exactly. Okay. You can the plus three D shape. Let's see how it looks like. Yeah, this 3D shape. Oh, very beautiful. Let's see. Oh, yes, very good. Now we try one more. You see, test this data. Data. This is point cloud data. Okay, we don't need. Let me find and we show you the point cloud data. Ah, this, I try to calculate the volume of this one. And in this case, we can approximate the volume of this object around 15.3. Okay. This number, this number, and this number. 15.3. Okay. Now I will show it to you. Ah, the plot of point cloud data. In this case, 15.8. Approximate. Oh, very good, very good, very good. Very, this is the volume of this, the, 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 of this object. Okay, very good. So, and this is good for calculating the volume of the object from point cloud data. Okay. So, uh, okay. So good. Bye bye.